Uh, we're here today to talk about campaign finance reform in Minnesota in light of the Citizens United case. Uh, it's an issue that has not been at the top of this legislative agenda this year, and one of the reasons we're here today is to make sure that it is not forgotten this session. Uh, Citizens United, the decision, was conceived by corporate special interests, and it was midwifed by conservative judicial activists on the U.S. Supreme Court. The corporate interests who were behind this decision argued that they should have fewer regulations, fewer restrictions on how corporate money could change the political process. And in exchange, there would be more sunshine, more disclosure, more information about the corporate spending that's going on. The, the interests uh, who were behind this succeeded at the Supreme Court. They have no restrictions on independent expenditures now. And today we are announcing legislation that will give Minnesota voters the information and the sunshine that they need to understand who is spending how much to elect whom in our elections. Uh, we've had a series of meetings uh, with all kinds of stakeholders around this issue this session. Uh, the people that you see here today, the League of Women Voters, Common Cause, Representative Simon, and me, uh, are uh, behind legislation uh, being introduced in the House uh, that will basically do uh, four main things. They'll require that independent expenditures are disclosed in real time. Uh, they will re strengthen the investigation authority of the Campaign Finance Board. They will reinstitute a disclaimer requirement on political advertising, and they will, it will require that shareholders be notified in the event that corporations spend money directly on political speech. Uh, that's the outline. Uh, I'd ask uh, Representative Simon and the others to comment on some more of the specifics uh, in the legislation. Ryan Winkler's District 44B State House. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Steve Simon, Representative 44A Minnesota House. I want to talk in particular about the shareholder notification. As some of you may know Iowa has already acted in this area and other states are poised to do so. The Supreme Court in the Citizens United decision uh, went one step further in what seems to be a long march towards corporate personhood where corporations have many of the rights that we do as individuals under our Constitution. And if that's true, those corporations, whether they're persons or something else, are accountable, and they're accountable to their shareholders. Their, sh their shareholders invest, and they have the right to know, at a minimum, uh, what the corporation is doing with their investment. We now know under Citizens United that what they can do is they can now spend directly from the corporate treasury. They don't have to start a political committee or a PAC or anything of the kind. They can dig directly into that reservoir of cash and spun, spend money right out of the corporate treasury. And it stands to reason that the shareholders, who are the bosses here, ought to know what that corporation is doing. So this legislation, and I thank Representative Winkler for it, uh, will make sure that all of us, the investing public, know what those corporations are doing. Uh, the corporations that we partially own as investors, all of us, uh, whether it's directly or through pensions, they'll know, we'll know what they're doing directly in terms of political spending. And that seems fair. Thanks.